Toxic productivity arises when we compare ourselves to others, leading to an unhealthy environment. In contrast, soft productivity allows for fluctuating energy levels and celebrates progression over self-criticism. Hey friend, my name is Fatemeh. Today we are diving into soft productivity, a kinder way to tackle our goals without burning out. So get cozy, grab a snack, and let's explore the guides that can transform the way we work. Soft productivity is more of a compassionate approach to productivity. The first step is finding balance in our goals and making sure they match with who we really are. Soft productivity doesn't mean it's not as strong or it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It means it's effective, sustainable, and it harmonizes with who we are. Harmony over everything means that we make sure that the things that we are doing and the people that we are bringing into our lives align with who we are. And we do this by asking real questions and knowing what our non-negotiables are. What makes us happy? Because one person's dream might be another person's nightmare. Creating harmony is all about knowing what aligns and what doesn't. We can't be afraid to live life. We should try new things and reflect on what harmonizes with our spirit. Experiment with life and have fun, make mistakes, and when we find the things that align with who we are, we go to the next step, which is committing. The problem is we think the commitment means we gotta dedicate ourselves all day every day to this one thing, hustle. That is a harsh productivity. The internet is tricking us into thinking we are supposed to do it all to perfection. That's the illusion. We are all in our own timelines. We don't have to make everything happen in six months or in a year. Learn to simply commit and you will reap the rewards as you go.
When we are running somebody else's race, we get trapped in toxic productivity. We get to determine our own pace. It's very difficult to harmonize our goals when we are in a comparison loop. With soft productivity, sometimes we will have high intensity seasons and sometimes they will be low intensity seasons. Neither or is more productive. It's all about our energy levels. At the end, soft productivity is finding our own rhythm, committing to a fulfilling life and avoiding toxic cycles. It's not about doing everything perfectly, it's about doing things in a way that feels good for us. It's a positive, gentle approach that celebrates progress and keeps us excited about our own journey.
Thank you for being with me today. Sending you love and stay safe. Goodbye.